Chemistry is the study of all known matter in the universe. Our ancestors started it by classifying materials around them, like rocks, dirt, plants, and foods. They found that some rocks were sharp and very useful, so they used them for their everyday life. Later, they discovered minerals. These were stronger and could be made much sharper than ordinary rocks, so they switched from rocks to minerals. The chemical classification from these rocks and minerals was not made until much later, but the switch was a major improvement in technology at the time. We later classified a mineral as any pure, usually inorganic solid compound found in nature. For example, quartz is a crystal made from very pure silicon dioxide. It's a continuous framework of two oxygen atoms for every silicon atom repeating to the edge of the mineral. The chemical bonds between oxygen and silicon are very strong, and that's what made quartz a good tool material. On the other hand, a rock is any combination of minerals, like granite. Granite is a combination of quartz, biotite, and feldspar. And it's not as strong as pure quartz, because the bonds from quartz to feldspar are not as strong as the bonds from quartz to quartz. This is what makes most minerals better for tools than rocks. The more pure the mineral, the stronger it usually is. Soon, our ancestors began to find all sorts of minerals, such as cassiterite, which contained tin, and chalcosite, which contained copper. In the 4th millennium BCE, metal workers in what is now southern Iraq found that if they mixed copper and tin, they get a much stronger material than either of the two metals alone, or any mineral they knew of. Bronze had been invented. This could be molded into any shape, so it could be used to plow fields, make perfectly round wheels, and sharp swords. Not long after, hematite and magnetite minerals were discovered, giving rise to the Iron Age. These were good metals, but strong minerals like obsidian are so common in the Americas that some historians suggest this is the reason why Mesoamerican civilizations didn't develop advanced metalworking. How would you classify materials like sticks and rocks if you were a caveman? Do you think your geography would have an impact on your civilization's technology? Think about it.